Hi, and welcome to another episode of Average Previews. Today's game is called Tangle Deep, and it is a roguelike. Also, it is in early access at the moment, but look at how nice the art style looks. It's gorgeous. So, and I will later show you and the interesting way how the game begins. This is my first dungeon and I'm on the technically the third floor of the level. You also have a town, but uh, I thought that I will start the recording here because I found this area, which is basically a side area, as the game calls it. Which is interesting. Uh, Boom! Whoa! Let's go this way. You can move diagonally, which is cool. Also, the, in the interesting thing is that you actually lose stuff like that. You can, uh, going into the water, you will lose uh, stamina. Uh, when you go into mud... Did I see everything here? Okay. Sorry I'm wasting so much stamina, but that's fine. So, the game is uh, roguelike, not the roguelite. It is, uh, for example, it is turn-based. Nice. And the, the mod can root you. A cloth cover. Uh, ropes, 5% dodge. A plus 5 CT when attacking with bows, but I don't have bows. Because I didn't choose the class. The game has a lot of different classes already. I will use this. Yeah. Right, uh, let me show you, show you this system. So you earn JP from kills. And uh, that's chop points. You can use this. So I have basic traits, block more damage with a shield, improved strength, spirit discipli discipline, advanced traits, spend 1000 or more JP. Blocking an attack empowers your next smite evil or divine bolt. Let's uh, learn this. Toggle surrounds you with divine energy that restores health. Each time you block. Sounds interesting. So when I go into combat I will use that. These, uh, as you saw, it was shining. Th those are the... So-called hidden treasures. I can just go like that. Have I seen everything here? No, that part. Let's go... ...this way. No treasure here. Interesting. Oh well. Let's go back. To leave a side area you simply have to go back down. To return to the main path. Like that. Alright, oh, I and I just have to go up again. I think. I am here. 
I guess that yellow one is the step. I guess uh, you have to go through specific specific stairs yeah these are also stairs down here oh hello let's charge you uh, I can't Well, that happened. By the way, this extra turn and the JPXP up here, that's something I turned on myself. As you can see, extra turn pop up and uh, show JPXP gain. Because I like it when they are up here instead of down here. You can turn that off. That isn't necessary. Oops. Let's go to the second floor. So it started from uh, floor zero, I guess. Whoa, hello. Alright, I need to use number five. Hello. Oh, I can just keep it on. Hi. I will use this. For more health. Now in this game uh, you... You aren't going for... Depending on the game mode you choose. The one I chose is uh, basically like uh, the game is meant to be played. As in... When you die, you lose everything. However... However... You don't lose the town progress, the permanent progression, and you don't lose items you have put into the into town bank or town storage. You only lose what you are carrying with you here. Hmm. On crit parry next attack, parry chance up, repost after a parrying, hits all adjacent enemies, break defense. I'll keep this one for now. Nice. Treasure. And I found the next... Spiny Maze. This is another side area. Is this another side area? No, this is the third floor. So I won't go there just yet. Let's check. Yeah, I can go down there, for now. Let's try. So I chose the shield wearer, basically. I think the game has like, seven classes? I will show later. Whoa. I misclicked there. You get killed. Got more uses for the flask. Flask, that's always good. Hardy carrot. Oh no. Uh. Let's use another one of these. Get myself full. 
Wow, that's interesting generation. Splint mail. No, we don't need anything. But this is heavy armor. 10% physical resistance, minus 2 damage from physical attacks. But for some reason new item changes minus 1.5% defense. Why? Minus 1 damage from physical plus 15 health. Step through mod with no penalty, that's why I'm not getting uh, rooted anymore. Plus 10% fire and lighting damage dealt, not for me. And simple codex. Reduce energy costs by 5% plus 10% spirit power. Eh. While in the dungeon, equipping items will use a turn, however switching weapons on your hotbar is free. If you plan on changing lots of gear, it's better to go back to town. Alright. I don't get... Why do I lose? Don't know. What are my stats at, at the moment? I have 7% uh, parry chance, 5% touch chance, 0 block chance for some reason. Oh well, I need a shield. My class is Paladin. Where is defense? Physical resistance, 8%. Oh well. Hello. Scavengers Heaven. This place is a gold mine. In the last two weeks I have picked up over a dozen swords, axes and chest plates scattered in the caves. A little sharpening for the weapons, a little patchwork for the armor and they're good as new. If I can just keep out of the way of the monsters I'll be set for life. Can I read these again? Because I saw one. Because I got one before I started the recording. Oh. Boom. Boost melee damage and physical defense. This is some. This is uh, what I like. I like defense. Hey, come back here. Oh, zero XP. They are too low for me. Worthless, yeah. Oh well. Let's go then. A juicy apple. I have explored everything here, right? No. There is still something over there. Nothing. Oh, treasure! A short sword. 170. It's the same as mine, my current one. But let's take this away from here. Because it's the same as these. Chance to stun your target, crush percent HP and damage. Yeah, that's uh, the entire floor done. As you can also see, you get an extra free turn sometimes, which is pretty cool. So let's go to the spiny maze. Ow, ow.
Let's go down here. Can learn another ability. Heavy Guard increases shield block chance but reduces chance to crit and blocking takes 7 stamina. Well, I have currently 0 chance to block, so. Let's take it, let's see what it uh, does. 10% chance to block. It's fine that blocking takes stamina now. Ingredients, meals. Ranged weapons once equipped can be fired by clicking on your target or pressing a slingshot. People chuckle when they see it, but they don't care. If I can put rocks in a monster's eye from a distance, I'm winning. Indeed. Ow. Cheeky. Oh, that is the big one. That was massive. Treasure. Chicken dinner. Oh. Cheese wheel. Because why not? Another massive one. Got it. I also want to get that guy. I already really like the Paladin. The animation looks nice. In my opinion. The animation of the attacks. The music is also nice to listen to. No, denied. Jeez, these guys are tough. These can theoretically include items in them. Just one more area to go. Down here. Simple codex. Hi. Is 
at it. This might be something. I don't know. Let's check it out. No, nothing here. And uh, this is probably also a dead end, so let's go back. I think I'm done with this area. Oh, hi. Oh, wrong way. There is the st there are the stairs. And let's go back to town. But first let's deal with the threat. And now let's go to town. Skip. Oh, hi. Huh. Banker is here. So you can uh, store items or money. You can lose money. You will lose money too, which is on you. What should I deposit? Mm, deals extra damage when consecutive hits on same target. Gain 60 CT. I'll put that away for now. Glow torch away. Second glow torch away. This short sword away. Knocks out the non-champion monster at 15% health HP or less. So you can bring them to the monster coral. Monster coral. Sometimes subtlety is the wrong approach. Okay. I might keep the short bow just in case. Let's see what else I can do. That's the healer. Heal me. 50 gold. New rumor gatherer. Okay. A height shield. Fifteen percent block chance, minus two damage from physical, plus nine point five percent defense. Perfect. So this is the consumable shop you can buy, stuff you can consume, and this is the general store where you can. Huh. Nice. Caltrops. Throws a 3 th times 3 uh, uh, screed of spikes that bleed and shallow monsters. A tent, a super comfortable tent that would be right at home in Riverstone Camp, restores health, stamina and energy to full if used in town. That's 500 gold. I wonder if this uh, works forever. That would be pretty cool. Let's uh, deposit the money. All of it. Oh. And it's a 200 uh, G fee. What is the fee exactly? 200 uh, G is the deposit fee. Good to know. Oh, interesting. So there uh, is more here. Tinkerer. Yes, I are right. Hello, young heroine. All ready to scamper about the forest, climbing trees and chasing down frogs. Do my best. Yeah. So there is a lot of stuff here. Julia gave me the introduction. 
and this is pretty much let's go back how do I so you can change jobs oh I can't show that one save and back to title yeah let me show you the beginning of the game the choices you can make uh, when you start the game so new game you can choose the save slot of course then you can go heroic mode adventure mode or hardcore mode in heroic mode you uh, lose the game or well the progress in the you lose the dungeons basically you start over again I think uh, but uh, the goods you ha you have put into the bank and uh, the town progress progress. For example, the rumor guy was not there. At least I didn't see him at the very beginning. But now he's there. So this is challenging, but also the intended way to experience Tangle Deep. Then there is adventure mode. You lose only current XP level progress, unspent JP, and half your money. But nothing else. So this is a, m a more simpler way to play the game if you just want to progress. Which is also fine in my opinion. And th then th there is the hardcore mode which... Uh, as it says here, all traces of your adventure are permanently erased. The town progress, your banked goods, everything. The save gets deleted. So that's not for me. But this is definitely for me. Then when you choose this, uh, you can uh, get a random name. Then there are the classes. There is Brigand. There is Hunter. Brigand is a dirty fighter that relies on subterfuge. High mobility and striking enemy weak spots for massive damage. Hunter, an eagle-eyed expert in dispatching enemies at range, armed with an assortment of traps. Then there is the Floramancer, wields the power of verdant nature. Summoning beasts, traps and obstacles to control the battlefield. Gambler, a risk-taking fortune seeker specializing in outlandish attacks with a pinch of luck mixed in. So this is the dice rolling uh, character, which sounds nice. Then there is Sword Dancer, effortlessly carves through enemies with impeccable discipline, technique and grace. Who's in? Or has in? Augmented with ancient runic technology, this mid-range fighter with magic and technology alike. Spell Shaper, a mad scientist of the magical arts, combining elemental forces and bending them to their will. Then there is Budoka, terrifying master of a secret, deadly martial art, uses physical prowess to cripple and destroy enemies. And then finally the Paladin. Noble knight that smites evil and calls upon divine magic. Good for beginners. Oh, I didn't notice that one. Well, good. I accidentally chose uh, the class for the be for beginners. That's fine. I like uh, shield wearers anyway. That's why I chose her. Although these two sound interesting. All of them sound interesting. But probably these three are the most interesting for me. Who's in? Sword Dancer and Paladin. Although I would like to try the Gambler too. To see the lucky stuff. And then when you choose this, then you can choose your starting feats. I went for uh, two random. Because I always write, like uh, the randomized options in games. Which allow me to just randomize. Whenever a game includes a randomized option, I take it. It just makes uh, the game more interesting for me. There are certain games which would benefit from a random option and they never put it. And that's... that's pretty much it. There is nothing more. Then it builds the dungeon. Then you get this. Tossing the dice and spinning the wheel, I'm ready for the big score. And 
and then Julia doesn't anymore, but Julia gives you advice. So that's pretty much the game. There isn't really anything else I can say, really. I will... Can I remove this? No. Manage data. I can. Clear all data in SOT 2. Nice. And that's pretty much it. I have played for 54 minutes total together with this video. And I'm level 4 at the moment. I don't know what the le maximum level is. But that's... yeah. That has been Tangle Deep. And this is currently in early access. So the game is not finished. But that... but you... I have shown you the... basic idea what the game is about. So if you like the idea then definitely keep an eye out on this. I really recommend this. It's probably one of the interesting one of the more interesting the games that has come out well that has become available for us to play uh, re recently. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.